This is how you insert a timeline filter to your pivot table. To start off with, let's create a pivot table. Place your cursor anywhere on the data set table and press Ctrl A to highlight your whole data set. Now go to insert under the tables. You're going to do pull down and select pivot table. Now I'm going to insert my pivot table on the same worksheet. That's why I'm going to select existing worksheet and I'm going to start inserting my pivot table from cell C6 and click OK. And at this point, it should look something like that on this pop up here. The salesperson will go in rows and the amount will go to values. And let's close this pivot table field pop up window. Now, to insert the timeline filter, place your cursor anywhere on your pivot table and you go to insert, filter, timeline. And then in here, you're going to put a check next to the date and click on OK. And this is what your timeline filter will look like at this point. Now, if you don't like this header and this scroll bar going left and right, you can simply disable them by selecting your timeline filter. And then in here, you're going to remove the check on header and scroll bar. And those two features are gone. Now, resize and reposition your timeline filter. And then there you go. This is how you create the timeline filter. We can specify the beginning of timeline filter and end of timeline filter. Now, here's a bonus tip. If you don't like the border on your timeline filter, this is how you remove it. Select the timeline filter, go to timeline with a quick style, right click on any of this style that you like. I'm going to use the same style, right click on it and duplicate it. And after that, give this a name. Maybe I'm going to call it Robbie, my own name. Go format. And in here, you can specify the removal of the border. Click on OK and OK one more time. And then while selecting the timeline filter, go to quick style and select the custom timeline filter that you have just created. If you click on it, you can see that you don't have borders anymore on your timeline filter.